don't forget to subscribe and be sure to turn on all notifications and i do have a few giveaways still happening over on my instagram for 12 days of giveaways so if you haven't checked that out yet go and do that before they're over welcome back to the vlog cody and i were laying in bed this morning and he absolutely read my mind i was kind of like uh kind of want like a starbucks today feeling kind of festive and he's like you want to get starbucks before i go to work i'm like yeah and so that's when you know guys and then today's a very exciting day because we're finally getting to wrap presents hi can i get two grande irish cream cold brews okay can i get so can i get one of them with a splash of coconut milk in it yeah for sure thank you Got myself all ready for the day. I actually straightened my hair and did my makeup. I haven't worn makeup in quite a few days, so it feels really good. And I'm going to now prep my workstation to wrap presents. So this is a really great time for um, my family members and friends to click off this video. So if you are a part of Cody's family, if you are my mom or my dad, if you are one of my friends at all, any of them, Livia, Hannah, Shay, Brittany, it's your time to go because I'm going to be showing your presents and you don't want to do that to yourself. 2020 has sucked enough. You do not want to ruin a Christmas surprise for yourself, okay? I think that about covers everyone. Oh, and obviously Cody. What are you doing? Don't freaking watch it. You don't watch my videos anyway. Why start now? Uh, okay, let's uh, prep this workstation so I don't get like cat kibble in everyone's gifts. <laughs> judge the situation that is my closet right now but I'm going in and we're gonna collect up all of the gifts at this stack here too I kind of just shoved everything in the closet this year so yeah okay let's pull all this out we'll make a nice little stack of items here Very Merry Christmas. I had to get real clever with the hiding spots this year <laughs> just because I knew someone might be able to see them. This is probably one of my, my favorite ones to date. Um, this gift was really big and so I had no idea where to hide it. So I put it in the back of the closet and put like a little shirt over it. I mean, coat's pretty like oblivious, so I really hope you didn't know it was there. I definitely have never wrapped all my presents this late in the game. I mean, it's December 16th. I feel like this is so late. I feel like one year I had everything wrapped on December 1st, which is like crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna share with you what I got for everyone, um, kind of by person. And some things I actually don't even have in the mail yet. I have like a week until Christmas, so I'm really hoping they show up. I'm still missing stuff from my dad and also Cody, but anyway, so let's start with the boyfriend. So the first thing he actually picked out when I was buying that old navy coat that you guys saw, he picked this shacket out and obviously I was in full support of him getting a shacket. Also, it's cute, might steal it. So we got that for him, super cute. It's very thick actually. This is gonna be nice. So that's his first thing. And then the big thing that he asked for this year was a soda stream, which honestly, I don't know how I haven't gifted him one of these prior to now because he should be a brand ambassador for bubbly. He loves sparkling water so much and we go through so many cans of it. So. I got him a soda stream and I got to choose what color so obviously I went with white because I'm gonna be the one that has to look at it on the counter so yeah got him a soda stream and obviously to go along with that I had to get him some accessories for it so he loves cucumber water so we got him cucumber flavor drops I also got him this fruit flavor drops it comes with orange raspberry and lemon I thought that would be good and then because my mom <laughs> will be here for Christmas I wanted to get uh, the classic tonic so she can have tonic with her gin gin and tonic when she comes so I got that but also we drank those too so that is the soda stream that's like Cody's like big present um the thing that I have coming in the mail for him is a filter for our camera that he picked out um but it's like super back ordered so he's not gonna get that for a while and then I also got him a keyboard a new one that's a little bit smaller and more importantly doesn't have colorful lights flashing at all hours of the day so <laughs> this is one of those things that it's like for him but also for me 
So that is everything that I got Cody. I don't really have much to show for my dad because I've already wrapped a couple things. A couple things are still in the mail and then also it's chocolates that are like in the fridge. So I have to wrap those. But the one thing I am going to put in a box and give to him is a gravity sleeping mask because he's the only person I know that sleeps with a mask every single night. And I think that he would be kind of interested in trying this out. So I picked him up one of those. Pretty much it for my dad. I swear I have more. <laughs> he's always really hard to shop for, but I do have other things. I feel like my mom is always the one that I end up having the most for so this is actually to my mom from my dad so I didn't pay for this one but he got her a Fitbit which is really cute and fun so we got that for her every year I always get her in it cosmetic set and this is always such a great value because buying the moisturizer that she likes it's only a couple of dollars more to get the full set so I got her that at the Sephora sale many many months ago so for my mom's big gift this year that she didn't ask for we got her a Kindle and it's something that I think she's going to love and she loves reading and it's just like so much more accessible and I ordered her like the white one back before Black Friday and it still isn't here and it probably won't get here for Christmas. So my plan is to have this pastify box that's so pretty. I do have a case for the Kindle though because that came in time. So I'm going to wrap this and be like the other parts on its way. So that's going to be her big gift this year. Hopefully it comes but I, I really don't think it is but I really wanted her to have the white one because it's so cute. So It'll probably be worth the wait, but for now she'll just have the case and I'll be like, it's coming. Also for my mom, I feel like we share the love of cleaning and fun cleaning supplies. So I got her a starter kit from the Bear Home. It comes with a laundry stain stick. And then I think I got her um, the spray, the soap, and the dish soap. Yeah, because those are the three that I have and I love them so much. And I like that it's sustainable, it's Canadian. And also you can get the like refill um, containers that I now have in my pantry to refill and it's so much cheaper. So yeah, basically just got her a bunch of these really, really gorgeous glass bottle for all of her dish soap, hand soap and spray cleaning needs. And the last thing for my mom that she did ask for that's a little on the boring side is a mattress protector. So I got her that. Let's do the kiddos next. So as you guys saw in a previous vlog, we went to Toys R Us to get our nieces and nephews stuff. I have nieces and nephews in Ottawa, and so I already mailed their stuff out a long time ago because I wanted to make sure that they got everything. I basically just did like gift cards and sweaters and stuff, and hopefully they like it. But yeah, that's been sent a really long time ago. So we picked up some fun toys for the other nieces and nephews. So this is going to go to our nephew, Nicholas. He is very rambunctious and excited about things. We thought that this little like mini train set could be kind of fun. We find shopping for kids really hard unless they're like a little bit older. And for our other nephew, Sage, we got this like building block set. I thought it was really fun. I like the colors of it actually. And it just looked like really, I don't know, kind of interesting and diverse when it comes to building things. So I have no idea how I'm gonna wrap this, but we got that for Sage. To go with the little train set, we got two more trains that you like don't know what you're getting. So that's kind of a fun surprise. And then for our niece, Valentina, for all of my nieces, I gave them this like color changing hot chocolate. It like changes purple or something. Looked kind of fun. Uh, she loves arts and crafts. And so we got her, and actually she loves doing hair and like hair accessories and things like that. She's very creative. And so we wanted to get her something that kind of is still girly, but like can be creative with like art and stuff. So we got her this Hollywood hair extension maker, which I thought was so cool. She loves using those like L'Oreal sprays in her hair to make it colorful. It's, it's seriously so cute. And so yeah, we got her a fun little hair thing and then a little expansion pack. This is a Create Side Swept and Braid Crown. So this just looked like so much fun and something I would want to receive when I was that age. So I think this will be fun and kind of a weird shape to wrap. So. We'll have fun with that one too. Now that we're actually in the midst of this, I feel like I'm not gonna show you guys all the gifts because there is a lot and I cannot believe how much wrapping I actually have to do. So anyway, I will show you four of my friend's gifts. So for my friend Hannah, I am basically putting together a little kit of like self-care items because she is currently a student. And so something like this that's going to be relaxing is really great. So I included a couple body shop sets. I have the Lush Charity Pot in here, which is a great lotion. I added the Pacifica Lavender Moon Pillow Mist, which I love. We got a nice facial spray in here, which I love during the day to like refresh your skin. I also have the um, Charity Pot like solid in here as well. And then yeah, two body shop packages. This one's like a tea tree one. And then I have a charcoal detox one. So I just thought 
that putting something together like this would be really nice and she can have like a little self-care moment once she's done like studying and stuff. And then for my best friend Liv, I put together a little set. I always give her a benefit little holiday set because they are so kind and send them to me. So I know she loves benefit and she loves hula, so I'm going to include that. And then you guys have seen me wear this sweater many a times because it's like one of my favorite sweaters. And I picked her up one too. It just says blonde. It's from Brunette the Label, which is a local brand which I love and I don't know if she owns any brunette labels so I thought that was kind of fun so yeah those two are for Liv and then along the same lines for my friend Shay I also picked her up a brunette label sweater this one is quite big Shay's a little friend <laughs> she's quite short so I think that this will be really nice and oversized on her she also likes to go on walks and do hikes and all that kind of stuff she's a lot more nature -y. both of them are <laughs> everyone is except for me so I thought that this would be kind of cute and also I just like the red the burgundy I feel like that looks so good and it just says the babes club and what better year to gift loungewear than this year and the last gift i'm going to show you is for britney and we have very similar tastes when it comes to just like gifts in general she's such a good gift giver and so i wanted to pick up this 2021 weekly planner i thought this was absolutely adorable and low-key was kind of thinking of keeping it for myself but i was like you know what i'm gonna give it to britney and she actually mentioned the other day that she wants to like get more organized for the next year and like actually like plan out videos and things like that and so i thought this would be actually perfect and i bought this previous to that conversation so this is what the page looks like it's so stinking cute the colors and everything i also like that it opens up like wide and yeah i'm obsessed with this so i hope she likes it because it's so cute and then i also picked her up this little plant pot because she is moving into her new suite and she is obsessed with plants and so i thought this would be really cute and then i was thinking i actually have some trimmings from my hanging plant in my studio that are starting to actually grow roots and can be like repotted so i might fill this with water i don't know how i'm going to transport this or wrap it but i might just like put a little bit of water and put one of those trimmings in and be like here you, you can grow this now. <laughs> Good luck, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but she definitely does. So I thought this was kind of very cute. I love the tones of it. And like I said, it's stuff that like I would have picked up for myself. So that's when you know it's good. Like I said, I do have a couple more gifts for like other friends, other family, but this is like overwhelming and I'm running out of space already. So that is majority of what I gave for Christmas this year. Let's get to wrapping. You guys saw that I mostly wrap my gifts in this brown paper that I just get at Michael's. I wish I got black this year because I saw so many cute things on Pinterest. So I'm definitely going to pick up black if I like run out or maybe next year because it's so cute. I've been trying really hard not to buy any more like gift tags or wrapping paper. Like I have this whole bin here of like ribbons and things. I save everything from PR packages too. So like obviously a lot of the boxes that I use are from that, which is really great. And like this olive and June box is now gonna hold all like my gift tags and stuff. I'm trying to be thrifty in that way. And also just like reuse what I have because it really 
doesn't make sense to go out and buy more but I did allow myself to buy one new wrapping paper this year and I saw this one at HomeSense and I just opened it up and it's matte and it's so beautiful it's like a really really dark blue with like a constellation and I was like I don't know if this like reminds me of like Christmas and Code's like it's kind of like Silent Night and so I was like yeah okay sold and so I'm gonna wrap some of this but I just like I didn't realize it was matte it's so pretty Oh my god <laughs> you know why i didn't allow myself to buy a new wrapping paper because i bought some last year that i didn't even realize i had and i'm so glad that i looked in my stash to see like what other ones i had because i found this one oh i got them at indigo okay so i have this brown with gold spots and then i have this beautiful leafy one wow i'm so glad i looked they're so cute okay i'm gonna be using those hi you sitting on a gift yeah so here is what our current situation looks like. I think I'm done about 60% of the wrapping. I'm going to divide like the stuff that needs to be delivered and dropped off to people over there and then just tuck away everything <laughs> that's staying here under the tree. But yeah, most of it is done. I still have quite a few to do, but I'm gonna take a break. Excuse the baking mess behind me. Next video is a bake with me and I'm so excited about it because we're gonna be doing two cookie recipes, one I've already made and then one I'm going to be trying out for the first time. So yeah, it's gonna be a really fun video. So stay tuned for that in a couple days. I've been having so much fun baking and even though it's like a really long process, I thoroughly enjoy it and it's brought up my Christmas spirits. So anyway, I wanted to do a quick unboxing of two things that I got. The first one is a brand of drink that I saw on Instagram. I saw someone else post about it. I was like, man, those are so so cute and just like the marketing the packaging was so adorable that I was like oh my gosh I need to follow them and they were actually following me already and long story short we got in the DMs and they delivered a four pack of Duchess which these are lightly sparkling cosmopolitans and oh my god you guys go check out their Instagram because the branding is so stinking cute and they keep selling out at like local um liquor stores here. I don't think I've ever had an actual cosmopolitan drink so I'm very excited to try this but the pink packaging just like made my soul really really happy and this is what they look like aren't they so stinking cute i think the branding is just like so on point i'm so excited so yeah i have a four pack i actually do have one in the fridge because i wanted to make sure when i wanted to try one that it was cold and ready to go and they are just like the cutest little things and people have been saying they're really really good so i'm very excited to try these i will definitely do a taste test either on instagram or on a video but yeah so excited about this so if you guys are local to vancouver definitely check out their instagram and see where you can get it because it's so cute okay that's the first thing had to show you and then finally not Merry Christmas to me this is actually happy birthday because I ordered these so long ago you guys have heard my slipper saga I feel like in a couple of videos basically wanted a new pair of slippers and the ones I ordered I didn't love so I returned them and these ones were on like back order for so long I really was just hoping I'd get them before Christmas so here they are and um I'm very excited about them. I haven't tried them on, but I got some Ugg slippers, the ones that you guys have seen all over Instagram. I had no idea what color to get, but I decided to go with gray because I thought they would go with everything. And I'm so sorry if you guys can hear Snicks eating. He's like the loudest and slowest eater ever. So I'm very excited to finally have these. I hope that they fit okay. I think I should try them on, but I just wanted something that was like a little bit thicker. So that's why I went with these. They're so fluffy. Oh, they're kind of loose though. Under, like the strap of them is like on the looser side. I have two different size feet, fun fact about me, like two completely different size feet. Back in my ballet days when I had to buy point shoes, I'd buy two different sizes and point shoes don't have a right and a left. So it actually was like kind of great because I could just mix and match them. But in real life shoes, it doesn't work like that. Here's what they look like, super cute. But yeah, the strap band is a little bit on the looser side. I'm gonna go do a walk test. I don't know guys, I don't think this is it. Because the strap is, it's almost like someone with an extra large foot wore these and stretched them out before me. Because my toe's like hanging off, so I have the right size, but not like 
the tightness of the strap if that makes sense i wonder if i could like take that in somehow okay enough about that you guys don't care um i'm gonna have a little lunch break and then i'm gonna get back to wrapping i just got a knock at the door and there's a package here from laura mercier so sweet i believe it's some of their like holiday sets so cool so we have the set to perfect translucent in medium deep they also have the same set but they're that's what it looks like there so it comes with the setting powder and the little puff and this one is translucent and then this little gift set looks really 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 cute comes with a little makeup case and some lipsticks thank you guys so much so cute i love the packaging the red and like the nude obsessed so it's almost five o'clock now and i'm officially done wrapping i'm pretty sure i got everything that i'm able to wrap now obviously i have a couple things coming in the mail but this is pretty much it i can't believe this took me basically all day but i'm gonna show you what everything looks like normally i go with like a theme and kind of wrap everything similar but i was really in the mood to just kind of wrap with the fun wrapping paper i had and really like i don't know switch it up so everything's kind of mismatched but they're all going to very different houses and many different places not all of them are staying here i feel like looking at them as a whole there definitely is a theme most of it's like paper we got some blue we got some red that's pretty much it i mean it's not too bad some white in there i do really really enjoy this like leafy wrapping paper that i found i'm so happy i checked i can't believe i would have like found that later and been like oh my god i didn't use it so good on me for checking now i'm going to divide the stuff that's staying here and then push to the side the stuff that is going to other people Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. 